Okay, so in this video, we will see how we can find the variance of a continuous random variable x. We denote the variance of x in two ways, by sigma squared. This symbol is sigma. This is a Greek symbol for s. Or we can also denote the variance of x by, of course, v brackets x for a variance of x. We saw in the previous video how to find the mean, the average value of a random variable x, but another crucial measure is also the variance of a random variable. And to illustrate what the variance measures, we'll look at two possibilities for a density function for x over the same interval. And we'll see that what the variance of x measures is whether or not the weight of the density function is distributed near the average value or far away from the average value. So, imagine the first case looking like this. So we have the interval of all possible x values from a to b, and this is the probability density function of x, f of x. First possibility. Let's look at a second possibility. Assume we have the same range of x values from a to b, but now we have a very different probability density function for x. Now, as the mean, mu, is the average value of the random variable, is essentially the center of the distribution, in both cases, it should be easy to guess where the average value would lie between a and b. Right? In this case, you would be assuming that we have a perfectly symmetric density function, mu would be here, in this case, mu would be here. So even though we can assume that we have the same interval for x and the same mean for x, there clearly is something that is different between the two cases that is not captured by the mean of the random variable x. Right? In the first case, most of the weight most of the area of the density function is lying around the mean. In the second case, there is a lot of weight, a lot of area underneath the density function that is lying away from the mean. And the question is, well, what quantity measures this difference? And the answer is, of course, the variance of x. So as most of the weight is around the mean, the average value, we would have here a small variance. So this would be a small value for sigma squared, the variance. As here, there's a lot of weight, a lot of area away from the mean. This would be an example of a large, or at least larger, variance. So hopefully, this makes it clear as to what will the variance of a random variable be measuring. Is most of the weight around the average value, or is there a lot of weight away from the average value? Now, how do we find the variance? Well, if you think about this, we have to ask, essentially, on average, how far will x be from the average value, therefore the mean? Well, an average is an expectation. So we look at the expectation of the difference between x and mu, so x minus mu. But because we want a positive measure, we will look at the expectation of the difference between x and mu squared. And from the previous video, given a random variable, we know how to find its expectation. We have to multiply the expression, so here x minus mu 
squared by the probability density function and we have to integrate the whole expression with respect to x over the entire range of x values and that's it so by evaluating first the mean and then this integral you will obtain the variance of the random variable x and finally there's also what's known as the standard deviation of x which is simply the square root of the variance So once you find the variance, take the square root of the variance and you obtain the so-called standard deviation which is denoted by simply sigma. And that's it. So the two key measures of a random variable are its mean, its average value, and its variance with of course the corresponding standard deviation.